Cygnus vehicle, now under seven minutes from launch. VZX is closed and OCCS is in automatic control mode. And a copy of uh, Prop 1. LC, VTSO activation verified. Roger that. Check 402. Ops 2, 403, initialize ground ordinance power supplies. LC, Ops 2, ground ordinance power supplies initialized. LC, Elect 1, ground ordinance power supplies nominal. Copy, Elect 1. LC site control, FA ECS transfer to GN2 is confirmed. Copy that site control. We'll check 405 complete. So, Gary, you can see right now that the uh, the top half of the the uh, first stage is, is really very cold with that cryogenic liquid oxygen. Uh, the the Antares logo that you would normally see running down the side there is completely obscured by ice, and uh, and we've got uh, the uh, sort of evaporative process happening uh, on the liquid oxygen uh, boiling off of of its relief valves and vent valves there. Coming up on T minus five minutes. And Ops 2, your go for step 406, initiate engine priming. Priming started. Ops 1, you go to transfer avionics to internal power. LC Ops 1, avionics internal power on, stand by five. You hear those calls, the vehicle will switch to internal power. Before about 3 minutes 30 seconds prior to launch, we'll initiate auto sequence handoff for terminal countdown. Open FTS Umbi loop and verify green indication. LC Ops 1, FTS Umbi loop open and green. Copy that, Ops 1. LC Elect 2, FTLU, and FTS receive indications are nominal. Copy LEC 2, we'll check 410. Ops 1, step 411, you go to send all arm command. LC Ops 1, all arm command sent. LC Elect 1, SNAs, ODMs, all armed. Copy LEC 1. NASA TD, report range status? Range is green. Copy, range is green. LC MES1, priming verified, MES1. Copy, priming verified, check 414. And launch team phase three dynamic limits will be active at T minus three minutes. Command into flight mode. Three minutes before launch, we're now in the terminal Auto count until startup. launch on time, 3.46 p.m. Central Time. ODM bus voltages and currents are nominal. Roger, Alec 1. NAV, step 420, verify ready for NAV mode. LC NAV, or NAV ready for NAV mode. Ops 2, step 421, switch to NAV. Orb nav to navigate. LC nav, orb nav telemetry verified. Copy that nav, we'll check 422 complete. And T minus two minutes on my mark. Mark.
Now under two minutes for launch, everything's still looking good during this automatic countdown. T minus 30, T minus one minute, 30 seconds on my mark. Mark. And T minus one minute on my mark. Mark. Now under a minute to launch in just about 10 seconds, then takes will be pressurized. Everything's still on track for a liftoff on time. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 10. Five. Four, three, two, one, and we have engine ignition. And we have liftoff of the Antares NG-11 mission to the ISS, engines at full power. Attitude is nominal, core pressurization looks good, power systems look good. Stable operation, full power, both engines. Core pressures look solid, attitude is nominal. TVC is nominal. Power systems look good. Engines remain at full thrust, operating nominally. Everything looking good during this first stage burn. Alpha it burns for three minutes, 35 speed, seconds. Throttling back to 55% power. Attitude remains nominal. Nominal operation at 55% power. Throttling back up to full power. Engines are back to full power. TPC remains nominal. Attitude nominal, this plus uh, T plus 60 seconds. Altitude passes 25,000 feet. Pass through transonic. Attitude is nominal. Engines continue to operate at full power. Everything looking good, about 10 more seconds Pass of this first stage burn. With nominal attitude, passed through 40,000 feet altitude. Engines remain nominal at full power. Fuel pressurization is nominal, VNG3 is on. Al altitude past 60,000 feet. Engines remain nominal, attitude and power systems all look good. Coming up on T plus uh, two minutes. Engines continue to operate nominally at 100% power. TVC steering, power systems. Two minutes into the flight, good. one minute, 30 seconds until this uh, main engine Altitude cutoff. passing through 100,000 feet. Power systems remain nominal. Attitude is good. Engines continue to operate at full power. Engines remain nominal. Power systems are good. Attitude is nominal. Core, core, core pressures look nominal. Approximately one minute till main engine cutoff. Engine power is nominal. Attitude is nominal. Avionics power is good. We're starting our slow throttle ramp for G limiting. 200,000 feet altitude as we approach T plus three minutes. Attitude remains nominal. 10,000 feet per second, engines have throttled back to 55. 
about 30 more seconds of this burn. Pressure Main engine will cut off. Stage one will separate, and, five and the vehicle will coast for just a bit before fairing separation. Engine operation at 55 percent power is nominal. TVC sleuth for main engine cutoff has started. Attitude remains nominal. Engine operation continues to, remain, uh, to be nominal. Altitude 300,000 feet. And we have main engine cutoff. Attitude remains nominal post shutdown. Stage one separation. ACS performance is nominal. Stage two ignition will be in approximately 30 seconds. Again, this is a coast period. And Terry's is now coasting uh, in preparation for stage two ignition. Stage one delta V was 17,348 feet per second. Altitude is 130 kilometers. Interstage SEP. Attitude remains nominal. TVC batteries initiated. And we have stage two ignition. Attitude remains nominal. The Castro 30XL motor will burn for approximately two and a half minutes. Attitude is nominal. Motor pressure is nominal at, at approximately 100 PSI. Power systems look good. Stage two TVC is nominal. And attitude remains nominal. Everything looking good. The fairing has been All separating. Cygnus is uh, now revealed in the inner stage at the back of the vehicle separated the before stage, stage two, two ignition. Attitude remains nominal. Avi avionics power systems and temperatures all look good. Again, this is uh, solid rocket fuel. Attitude the entire thing will burn stage out over the course of two minutes, 30 seconds, everything looking good so far. Altitude is 170 kilometers. Power systems look good. Velocity is now five kilometers per second. Castro 30 burn continues. Motor pressure is 775 PSI. Attitude remains nominal. All systems look good at this point. Avionics power looks nominal. Attitude is nominal. Just uh, minor activity from the uh, stage two uh, attitude control system during the motor burn. TVC is nominal. Power is good. Motor pressure is now approximately 685 PSI. Velocity six kilometers per second. Attitude is nominal. Altitude is 200 kilometers. Stage two TVC looks good. Power is nominal. Motor pressure just entering its slow tail off, now dropping below 500 PSI. TVC remains nominal. Power is good. Seven kilometers per second velocity. Attitude is nominal. Altitude is 205 kilometers, and we have stage two motor burnout. We'll now coast for approximately two minutes prior to the Cygnus spacecraft separation. Second engine has burned out. The Cygnus vehicle traveling at uh, just under 17,000 miles per hour. Attitude is nominal. All systems look good. Second stage attitude control system is starting to uh, reorient the vehicle for payload separation. Attitude remains nominal. Loss of signal on motor cone and stage one. All systems look good. We're just standing by for uh, Cygnus spacecraft separation. Attitude remains nominal. Again, all systems look green at this point. Avionics, power systems, attitude all look nominal as we come up on uh, mission time 
T plus 490 seconds. The vehicle is now uh, oriented for spacecraft separation. Attitude is nominal. Yeah, Gary, it looks like our uh, our telemetry uh, is a little unusual here. I think uh, I think we're we're showing a bit of a, a stale vehicle graphic here. At this point, uh, we've got uh, the stage two, the Castor 30XL, uh, with the uh, Cygnus payload still ha attached, uh, coasting and and ready for deployment. So imagine that instead of what we're showing here. <laughs> Attitude is good. Power systems look good. Sounds good and. Uh, just about uh, nine minutes after liftoff, we should be expecting Cygnus separation. All systems nominal at this point. Attitude and power continue to look good. And we have Cygnus spacecraft separation. And Terry's is reorienting for the collision and contamination avoidance maneuver. Insertion orbit looks nominal. And Terry's mission is complete. Initial results all look nominal, and we're signing yeah. off from the uh, LCC. Launch Control reporting a good ascent of the Cygnus vehicle on top of the Antares rocket, carrying it on its nine-minute journey into an orbital insertion. 7,600 pounds of cargo inside will make its way to the International Space Station over the next day and a half, ready to rendezvous with the station Friday at 4.30 a.m. Central Time. Loss of signal on the avionics link. A series of a few milestones before we get to that point. There'll be a series of a few burns over the next about two hours uh, before we begin uh, solar array deploy. These are the two ultraflex solar arrays that are on the back of the Cygnus vehicle. Join us uh, for our live coverage of and that event at 6 p.m. Central LC Time tonight. Go ahead, LC. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead into our post-launch checklist here. Step four. You Northrop Grumman flight controllers you see here at the Mission Control Center in Dulles will be monitoring the vehicle over the next day and a half, overseeing all the milestones throughout its journey to the International Space Station. A good ascent of the Cygnus cargo vehicle and 7,600 pounds into orbit. Again, we'll be back on in just about two hours. 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, for our coverage of the solar array deploy. Ops one. Yeah, four. We'll conclude coverage and then come back for a capture on Friday, April 19th, scheduled for 4:30 a.m. Central Time. Again, Ann McLean, uh, aboard the International Space Station, will be the prime robotics operator to uh, grab that vehicle using the station's robotic arm to feed St. Jacques, backing her up, and Nick Haig monitoring telemetry. Verify indicator extinguished. A good ascent of uh, Cygnus into orbit over a nine-minute journey. Again, we'll be back in the next two hours. This is Mission Control Houston.